And now let's look at what is the actual use of external style sheet, right? Something that I talked about in the beginning, but let's just emphasize this, right? So let's say over here I have this lovely div, right, with these heading ones and paragraphs, right? What if I would want to grab this one, right? And I'm going to copy the whole thing. I'm going to create a new page. And I'm going to say copy. And let's say this is going to be website HTML. Website over here, and I'm going to say website HTML, right? I'm just going to copy this. I mean, we might as well can uh, change the name, right? First of all, this is not going to be external style sheet. I'm going to say this is going to be the website, right? So over here, website, right? Let me just get rid of this guy for now. And over here, let's just make some things around, right? So maybe let's let's copy these two, right? Something like this. So now we have two of them. And then we're going to change some stuff around. Then we're going to copy the paragraph out, right? So we're going to say copy this guy, and then we're going to place it over here, right? So technically, there's going to be two different documents, right? Imagine that this is your index, right? And this is going to be your website HTML, right? And we know with an index, right? So we have this main CSS, and if we go back over here, and if we would want to apply the rule, right? Let's say that I would want all my paragraphs to be red, right? So I'm gonna again gonna say color and I'm gonna say red, right? So all works nice and dandy, right? But imagine obviously there's gonna be many rules, right? When we're gonna be working with CSS with the project, you're gonna be writing a rule after rule, a property after property, and a value after value after value, right? You're not gonna have a style sheet with one rule over here with one property and one value. Now what happens is that over here, right? What I would want to do is in the most fastest way, I would want, actually would want these paragraphs to be read, right? And again, I'm not talking about one property, right? So obviously over here, I could just create a style tag, right? And do the same thing. But again, what I'm talking about is you don't need to, you aren't going to have one rule. You're going to have many, right? So what we can always do is we can just go back over here. We can create a link, right? It's going to be the same link. It's going to be linking back to the main CSS. And again, the rules of actually directories work the same way, right? So if I'm going to have over here a folder, right? And if I'm going to create a CSS folder, right? And if I'm going to place this main CSS over here in this folder, remember that we had the rule that we actually had to go back to the folder, right? So it's not going to be as simple as that, right? So over here you can say, do you want save changes? Let me just cancel this one. Let's leave this, right? But back to the website. Uh, website HTML, right? If I write over here main CSS, right? You can see right away what happens. And obviously, again, we're not talking about one property, one rule, one one value. We're talking about we can basically make style sheet after like basically a website after website, right? The page within our website, right? Look exactly the same, right? Just by doing this one simple thing, right? Just by linking.